Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Windscribe VPN. So let us firstly now Google for Windscribe. So guys, just in general for you to understand, Windscribe is available in many ways. You can use it in the browser, as you can see. Well, I'm in Chrome. So for example, let us type in Windscribe. Chrome extension. There you go. So you can go ahead and install it onto your Chrome browser and easily use it, guys. So as you can see, there's a Add to Chrome button. You just press it, install it uh, like this. Let us actually try it. Okay. So while it's installing, I'm just going to talk you to you a bit. So as you can see, this is what the extension looks like. Actually, the mobile app looks really similar. Maybe this is a mobile app. I'm not really sure. So guys, uh, the app is very easy to use. You can also grab one, I believe, for uh, Windows as well. If I'm not mistaken, let me check. So what do we have in download section? Let me press download. And yeah, my internet is a bit slow. Yeah, so as you can see, Windows app in Chrome, Chrome extension. Also, it's available for Android, Mac OS, and Linux. So basically on everything. So now, guys, as you can see, my extension was added. So let us uh, use it. Where is it? Uh, there you go. Windscribe. Let me just pin it. All right. Now let's open it up. Let us log in very quickly. And as you can see, we also have a tutorial. I'm going to skip this for now. And guys, oh, and I'm already connected to it. So guys, it's very easy. You just click on this locations menu and you choose the preferred VPN country that you wish to connect to. Uh, the VPN server, for example, let us choose uh, Germany, Frankfurt Castle. So click on it. And we are now connected to Frankfurt console successfully and guys to check if the VPN works I like this service called 2IP so let's go to it and you can easily now check your uh, IP as you can see I am now connected to Offenbach Germany even though it says Frankfurt for example it's Offenbach but anyway maybe it's like some kind of region in Frankfurt and guys as you can see now our VPN successfully works. And guys, the usage process on other systems is literally almost identical. You can grab the Windows app, it's going to be nearly the same. But what is the difference between using uh, the VPN on, for example, the Chrome uh, browser and in uh, the Windows app? So if you install it for Windows, you will have the VPN enabled globally in your system, right? So even if you close, your Chrome, your VPN will still work. So, for example, if you use some, I don't know, kind of dedicated um, messaging apps like Facebook or something, uh, it will be, this VPN will be working and applied globally in your entire system and all of your apps will be using its connection. So it's, I would say it's mostly better to use a Windows app compared to the Chrome extension. But that's how it's done. And that's how it's done, guys. That's how you use it enjoy hopefully this helps you out uh, press like on this video if it helps you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one